Hey guys, I'm out here with Austin today. We're chasing Spanish mackerel. We've just literally just turned up onto Burley Reef. Just deploying some deep divers. Hopefully we can find a Spanish. Um, you can probably drop him now. Just drop him off so he swims properly. Uh, so we got a strata out and a Samaki. I'm sending this guy way back. We're just starting on the Burley Reef, the sort of gravel patch. The idea is we're trying to find Spanish first light. It's probably, I don't know, 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. Um, so we're going to hit this, do a couple of runs up and down on Burley, sort of trolling around at six to eight knots. And then after this, we're going to see if there's any spotties happening in on Palm Beach Reef. I might set up a third got a challenge on at the moment if we can get a big Spanish or spotty on these little American style lures. So I brought out my beach rod to act as like an outrigger and uh, see if we can find something on this bad boy. That'd be hilarious man, it'd be sick <laughs> It will too, hey. I reckon it'll be the one it does. This looks like a little white bait shoot through the water. Right in a mile out, mate. Just need that sun, hey, to. Well, this is a good time now. Yeah. Okay. So even the outrigger at home. So just head for the middle of these. Yeah, just kind of go over all yeah. of them. This is one of the main reasons I love filming the fishing, just to re-watch the footage and see what happens. But watch just behind me on the rod in my right-hand corner of the boat there. It gets a smack right as the boat slows down, and then we catch a fish straight after. You'll see us hook one just now um, on the strata. Still there. Still there? Okay. You want it? 
Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, you just oh, are you kidding? Just there. No. We lost him. No. All right, they're here though. That's a good sign. We'll do that run again. Sorry, mate. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a beach spot here. Or you look like a Spanish, eh? Yeah. Watch that floor. In there. So I might get to. You. Sitting there right at the back of the boat, we're yeah. like, oh damn. Sometimes it's good though when you're driving to to continue driving because you might pick up another one. Right. I was watching these guys on YouTube last night that they were the Mac was so on that every time they put the lures in, they hook up. And what if one guy hooked up, he'd bring the lure in. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Fish on. Alright, just let him run, let him run. That's another fish. That's good, let him go. That's another good fish in like five minutes. <laughs> go, son. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave this one out far. Yeah, right. I'm not going to muck around with it. Might be more there. Huh? It might, just, might be more. Let's get greedy. <laughs> All right. Same fish. Same <laughs> fish. <laughs> Round two. He's not made it lesser. <laughs> <laughs> Going there. Ideally, we can get him on this side. Just going to put this big boy up here. I'm just going to keep us sort of puttering forward a bit. Okay. And when he comes in, mate, I'll get you to go forward a little bit. Stay on him. One, 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 one. They run at you. Boys. They'll, they run everywhere, so you've always got to stay connected to these bricks. There he is, he's, oh, it might be a little tuna. Little tuna? Oh no, it's a mackie. It's a good mackie. Good mackie. Alright, that's good. Just let him just keep going. Make sure we don't hit him, guys. Get away, mate! Oh, I'm not mucking around with that gap shot. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, let's go. <laughs> and that is the Samaki. There we go, round number one. 
Good Terrible gaff <laughs> shot. <laughs> well done, Sandy. Oh, make sure you got it in the That's your shot. Alrighty, so. We're not missing him. What a bloody. On the board. I want to get a photo of that for you, mate. That's, that's how good. good. That's oh, real. that's epic, good. That's a peak on him. I stay you cannot ask some more than that, mate. <laughs> this Good little fish as well, actually. He's a nice fish. Yeah. He's a healthy fish. This lure, man, I tell you. Yeah. Same one, man. Kick him in a bit for a bit more gear. Yeah, so we're using the Strata Deep Divers, man. I cannot fault this blue lure. He has been on tour with me everywhere. I should retire him. He's one of those lures. Just came on. Yeah. Straight away. So guys, we um, continued to troll around here with those deep diving lures. I should have stayed on the northern end of the reef. Um, there was obviously a stacked up patch of the Spanish. Uh, but we continue to sort of do runs up and down the gravel patch there, north and south. But the bite time was very early, right as the moon was setting, um, which played a big part of this session. Alrighty guys, Austin and I have given up on the troll now. We had early, straight away when we put the lures in, we were getting smacks from Spanish. They weren't lasting more than two or three minutes in the water. Um, you'll see that footage, but we are now turning our sights to Palmy to throw some spinners in. We got a couple of pillies, but not a lot, um, to see if we can get a spotty or not. So you'll see all this footage, but if I run out of battery, hopefully we can get spotties before then. So you know what happened this morning. So I just basically sound around until we can find nice shows of fish. There's a couple of boys. Does he look hooked up there in front of you, Austin? Yep. So there's a couple of guys here that are hooked up in front of us in the correct manner. Um, oh, he's got a very interesting style of fighting and <laughs> fighting a mackerel. <laughs> the old rip and reef, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Works for some, I guess. Yeah, sure does. How's all this? It's so annoying. They use like polyester floats that just drift off. Yeah. Our mates having to spin something fierce in front of us. He is fighting something. Yeah, you reckon he is? He's going pretty hard with it though. Old mate's got the old mate's got the um, gaff. Yeah. Alright Osto, well let's that's a good sign. Let's get electric with it. Yeah. So the one on your chuck the one on the the idea behind throwing it letting it sink down to yeah. the bottom is that you're working that whole water column on the okay. way up. So, so it's not just straight up and down. Well, the fish, they could be right on the surface, but if you're, if you're ripping it through the water like that, then you find that they're going to see it all the way through yeah. the water and they'll chase it down. So guys, Osso and I are just throwing these spinners into the water, letting them sink to the bottom um, and ripping them back up. I found a oh, really man, cool follow. profile um, not actually a spinner, it's a jig that I found in Doug Burt's in his jigging sections there, but it's got a really good profile to it and the spotties in Spanish seem to smack it. So, worth looking out for those. Oh, look, look at this. We're on, we're on. Damn, they're good size fish, eh? Spot first up. Alright, here we go. Yep, 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 and wind and stop. Not much 
buddy. That's the smallest track. It's a bit embarrassing against you all. guys not much more action after this last Spanish we wrapped it all up at about 8 o'clock in the morning and headed home